Hey kids. So today we're going to be reading a book and it's entitled Muddy Paws Goes to School. It's by Peter Bentley and Simon Mendez. This book uh, has particularly really awesome pictures in it and I just wanted to read it as one of the first videos for this channel. So I hope you all enjoy. Let's get started. Muddy Paws. <laughs> This book is about a boy and his puppy called Muddy Paws. <laughs> we feel free to read along with me or follow along with the words if you're just starting to learn how to read, but it, uh, more importantly, enjoy the pictures. Ben and his puppy, Muddy Paws, did everything together. They played inside, they explored outside, and at the end of the day, they cuddled up together. These pages are a little sticky, so I apologize. Wherever Ben went, Muddy Paws went too. Except for school, smiled Ben, as Muddy Paws burst a bubble. Do you guys like bubble baths too? I know my son does and my bath. So Muddy Paws doesn't go in the bath with Ben, does he? The next day, Ben was late for school. See you later, Muddy Paws, he cried. Uh-oh, Ben forgot to shut the gate. You know what that means. Yep. Wherever Ben goes, I go too, says Muddy Paws. When Muddy Paws padded into school, he couldn't see Ben anywhere. He frolicked merrily in the nature corner. Oh, wow, what a mess. And then lolloped off to the painting corner. Paints. Could you imagine? Uh-oh. Squish went the red. Squirt went the yellow and green. Squirt went the blue. What fun, thought Muddy Paws. Wow, he's so cute though, right? What a mess, guessed the teacher. But where was Muddy Paws? Muddy Paws was looking for Ben in the schoolyard. He didn't find Ben, but he did find a shovel. But I can dig with my paws, he thought. Dogs don't need shovels to dig, do they? They do digging well on their own. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Muddy Paws dug and dug and dug. Oh no. <laughs> digging is hard work, yawned Muddy Paws. Here's a nice cozy place for a nap. Oh no, guessed the teacher at recess. Who has made all this mess? They buried all the flowers in the sand. Muddy Paws woke up with a bump. We he thought. I'm going for a ride. Maybe I'll find Ben on the way. Ben was upside down on the jungle gym. Hey, he said, that wagon has a tail. But when he looked again, the wagon was empty. Muddy Paws had sniffed something tasty. Can you guess what that is? A yummy snack. That's right, it's a sandwich. He found someone's lunch, Muddy Paws did, didn't they? Back in class, Amy started to sob. Oh no. She lost her toy puppy, said Ben. Don't worry, Amy, said the teacher. We'll all help you find it. What a nice boy. The children hunted inside. They looked everywhere, in cabinets, behind furniture, inside boxes. 
And they also searched outside, too. <gasps> Looks like Ben found it. Here it is, Amy, cried Ben. But what was Amy giggling at? You found my puppy, smiled Amy. <laughs> and you found mine, laughed Ben. Hello, Muddy Paws. What are you doing at school? <sighs> Muddy Paws trotted home with Ben proudly, wearing the star that the teacher had made him. See the star? After all that trouble, he still got a star. My teacher says your name should be Mischief, not Muddy Paws, says Ben. That's the truth. He's so cute. But I love you just the same. The end. And there's just leaving some more Muddy Paws at the end of the book. Oh, dogs are great, aren't they? And this, again, is Muddy Paws Goes to School. They do have a series of different Muddy Paws books. This is the only one that we have at the moment. But um, if you like these Muddy Paws books and you would like to hear more of the series, um, just comment below and I'd be more than happy to read more Muddy Paws books. Um, I usually read random ones, random books. So if you have any requests or suggestions, uh, don't be afraid to leave me a comment below. And um, if you have a puppy, go ahead and... Uh, or a dog or any kind of pet, go ahead and leave that below too. And we could all share what kind of pets that we have because pets are great. They are one of the family and we love them just like we love our family members. So again, I hope you enjoyed this book and until next time, kids, see you later.